Coming at you, this 11-year-old hoops prodigy became a YouTube sensation. But I'm asking him to do the same things my college and pro guys would do. And now an NBA legend is about to give him a seven-foot surprise. And when we saw it, we knew he needed to be televised. Check this out. I want to play for the Orlando Magic. He's being called a sensation, a phenomenon, a rising star. My name is Garrett. I just turned 11, and I love basketball. Well, what happened was I seen a professional basketball player doing drills on YouTube. People were commenting saying how impressed they were with how good the guy's drills were. But when I knew that my 10-year-old could do it, I thought I would put one up of him doing the same drills that the NBA professional was doing that people were so blown away by. As soon as we put the video on YouTube, um, he started getting a ton of comments. I mean, it was just a few days. He got a lot of hits. So how did this 11-year-old become such a b-ball wizard? He's always been in basketball since he was born. He's just always had a basketball with him when we at the grocery store, anywhere, everywhere. He just always had a basketball. I just kept playing and I just loved it. When he was eight, he was really good at handling the ball, so I went and got him uh, a video with a bunch of drills on him. And then he went through the drills one at a time until he mastered them all. So when he went through all of them, um, he started making up some of his own. Wow! Talk about talent. This kid is so good, he trains with a college coach. He's 11 years old, but I'm asking him to do the same things my college and pro guys would do. Well, his commitment's phenomenal. I've never seen a kid work like he does so consistently. But Garrett knows if he's going to play with the big boys, talent and hard work are just not enough. I pray to, to God that made me six foot five. <laughs> with us today. Come on down, Garrett. Get it in there, Garrett. All right. Nice to meet you, man. Welcome. Garrett, do you know that 80,000 people have checked you out on YouTube? Yes. Is that a mind blower to you? Yeah, it's amazing. It's cool, right? Yeah, it's cool. How are the other kids treating you at school? Do they treat you like, you know, an NBA star? They're just like, oh man, you and that ball. <laughs> yeah, they, they always want to play me and try to beat the best. <laughs> do, they, do, they, do they try and bet you? Do some of the really tall kids try and get you out on the court and think they're going to show you something? Yeah, everyone thinks they're going to beat me. But Have, has them. anybody beaten you yet? No. <laughs> What are you doing in school other than the basketball? You're doing well, keeping your grades up? Yeah, I'm doing well with school. I, had, I made short days for the whole year last year. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> your parents must be so proud. All right, so I hear you're, you're going to show off a little bit more here. I'm holding a, a second basketball, so I assume you want two? Yes, I want two. There you go. I'm going to back up, because I don't know anything about basketball. <laughs> All of us here today and watching at home, we can all say, oh yeah, I knew that kid when. So um, we wanted to do something really special for you. We wanted to give you a little something, some sort of treat, token, you know, um, to recognize your, your very special talents. And we wanted somebody very special to give them to you. So watch this. Let me take those from you. Sally for the slam. At six foot 11, John Sally is one of basketball's all-time greatest players. Blocked out of bounds by Sally. Nicknamed Spider for his in-your-face style on the court, this power forward has played for the Detroit Pistons, Sally with the follow-up, Miami Heat, Chicago Bulls, and the LA Lakers, some of the hottest teams in the NBA. For the final 10 seconds, great, a Sally dunk. In his 14-year career, he's won, count 
four championship rings with three different teams in three different decades and two different millenniums. What a play by John Sally. So first thing I got to give you this is this guy named Tayshawn Prince has this great number in Detroit. Look I had to that. get him to make mine. Nice. So, that's one. And you got to grow into that one a little bit, I think. Michael. And I got four championship ring, and this is the Rachel Ray championship ring for you right there. So you got you your, first your first ring. <laughs> Proud of him. He does really well in school too. Yeah, you you got to do well in school because if you don't do well in school, then you can't get in a good college. The coach may like your talent but then you might not be. And I'm telling you, all these guys going pro early, go to college. Yeah. Definitely. Don't skip that, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot and of fun. believe me, you're gonna get a lot of interest from the girls. You're very, very talented <laughs> and very good looking. Don't tell your parents I said that. So, you know, John's skills don't just end on the court. He's got some skills in the kitchen too. And up next, he's going to make his championship uh, uh, avocado dip. That's a tricky one to say. We'll meet you in the kitchen next. I'm gonna have to get like an apple box 